This is Charlie Sykes from The Bulwark. It's October 3rd, 2023. And in case you didn't notice, uh, Donald Trump is back in court. Now, you'd think that by now he'd be used to it, but it certainly seemed as if he was unhappy yesterday, starting the day with a rant that was unhinged even by Trumpian standards. Anybody that does business in New York State is crazy. When you have a radical left attorney general like Letitia James, who's a disgrace to our country, who got elected on the fact that she's going to take down President Trump. We're going to take him down. She knew nothing about me. So it's interesting. Why does this trial bother him so much? By the way, the judge that he's attacking gets to make all the decisions because Trump's folks did not file the necessary paperwork to get a jury trial. And now Donald Trump is threatening to testify himself which would be a pretty significant departure if he gets on the stand and actually answers questions. Remember this? I respectfully decline to answer the questions under the rights and privileges afforded to every citizen under the United States Constitution. Same answer. Same answer. Same answer. Same answer. So the real question is, why does this trial bother him so much? I mean, he's facing more than 90 felony charges and yet there's something about this trial that seems to have gotten under his skin. Uh, as one longtime observer noted, Donald Trump is his money. And this trial poses an existential threat to his money and to his business. It also has a real possibility of unraveling the fake underbelly of many of his enterprises, because, as you know, Donald Trump has been coasting for a long time on the fact that he is this incredible incredibly successful businessman, hmm. which is interesting because who could forget? And I have the list. Trump University, Trump Steaks, Trump Airlines, Trump Vodka, Trump The Game, Trump Casinos, Trump Magazine, GoTrump.com, which was really a thing at one time, Trump Mortgage. Well, who could forget those things? Well, apparently, tens of millions of Trump voters. Look, he's had a carefully crafted image after his appearance on The Apprentice that he was, in fact, this incredibly savvy, smart businessman. And Donald Trump really desperately wants people to believe that he's won. So now we have this trial, which is going to feature all of the people from his life, from the Trump circle, members of his family, his financial consigliere. The trial will be sort of like a, this is your fraudulent life, Donald Trump. And the one thing that Donald Trump does not want is for people to realize that none of it was real. Now, maybe it won't make a difference, but at some level in Donald Trump's mind, he is more afraid that people will think he's poor then they get sent to prison. So another reminder, you are not the crazy ones. I'm Charlie Sykes. We'll be back tomorrow.